Hello YouTube, um, James here again, and this is going to be part 3 of 4 in the series on how to solve a 2x2 two two cube with um, the Ortega method, so let's get into it. So, um, if you've watched my other parts, you'll know that to start off with we made the red side, and so you sh or it doesn't have to be a red side, but um, any side will do, but um, I start off with the red side, then we made the opposite side with um, OLLs that we had um, and now what we're going to do is PLLs which is permuting all the um, other layers so there are six PLLs in total that you have to memorize or know I guess and the first one um, is probably the most common one and the one that you're going to um, go through the most and it's when it's like this so on the top layer you look around the colours that you've got, and I see I've got a 2 by one block of blue, and then a black and a green and a yellow and a blue. No, and a black and then a green and a yellow. So what I'm really concentrating on is this two colours. So if you've got two colours, that's a good thing. And so remember that, and then look on the bottom layer. And if you've got two colours, that's a good thing. So I've now got a um, another 2 by one block. And so what you want to do is you want to line these two by one blocks up like this. So you make a whole side. And then you want to have this side facing the back. So what this PLL does is it swaps these two pieces on the top here. And then it swaps these two pieces on the bottom here. And the algorithm for this is um, as follows. R2, U, F2, U2. R2, U, R2. And then, as you can see, we've finished the cube. Um, the next one is a, um, a algorithm known f um, by 3x3 three three Friedrich users. Um, that, and it, all it is, is how you recognize it, is you check on your bottom color, and everything is done on that layer. So, if I turn it around, as you can see, all the colors are next to each other, which is what we want. And then on the top, you see we have a two by one block already done. So what you do is you, and then the algorithm is just gonna be a T perm if you know it. And what it does, it swaps these pieces. So how you set it up is you get your two by one block and put it with the color that is the same. So this is yellow, so I just mix up with the yellow. And then I want you to put it on um, the right hand side, and then you do these moves. R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R2, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, and then an F prime. And as you can see, it's finished the cube again. If you don't know the T pern in 3x3 three three or um, you don't or you want another algorithm that works, um, here is another one. R U2 R prime U prime R U2 L prime U R prime U prime R and as you can see it's finished the cube. The next case is um a case where the um, the bottom side that you've done is fully done like is um, this one here is and you've got two corners that are already in the right place so this one's in the right place and this one's in the right place and so what you want to do is have an algorithm that swaps these two pieces and so if you know all your PLLs on a 3x3 three three, you can use the um, a, the Y perm and what the Y perm is if you want to know or don't know it is this F R U prime R prime U prime R U R prime F prime R U R prime U prime R prime F R F prime and as you can see it's um, finished the cube so if you don't know that F prime or um, just want another algorithm that um, works, here is another one. So it's the same setup. You've got your whole bottom layer 
um, finished and these uh, two corners that are adjacent from each other are done like here and here and you just want to swap these pieces you have oh and I forgot to mention that if you're doing the Y perm and the algorithm that I'm about to teach you you want one done corner like this one in your bottom left and so this is the algorithm instead of the Y perm and it goes like this F R U prime R prime U prime R U R prime F prime R U R prime U prime R prime F R F prime and as you can see it has uh, finished the cube the next one is when you've got no 2 by 1 blocks going that way on either of your bottom or top layer um, and so what it means is you've got adjacent pieces on both sides so what you need to do is line up each um, side like this so they make 2 by 1 blocks but um, you need to swap them and you've got it doesn't and it doesn't really matter which um, one you use um, um, you can have it in any direction just so long as you're both done colors on top and bottom and what you want to do is um, have the purple side or your top side facing towards you um, and then your red side or the side that you've done at the bottom is facing away from you and then do these moves R2 U2 R2 and then you've done the cube and it's probably the easiest algorithm out of the PLL so it's easy to memorize so yep um, in this case in the top layer you've got a 2 by one block that you've found um, anywhere and what you want to do is you want to have it at the front and you want to match up the right corner um, on the bottom layer so it looks like this and this algorithm is going to switch these two pieces on the top and these two pieces on the bottom and so the algorithm is this R U prime R F2 R prime U R prime and as you can see it finishes the cube um, in this case you've found a 2 by one block on the bottom layer and um, no 2 by one block on the top so it's pretty similar to the last one you want to get your left corner and um, match up with the left corner on the top so it looks like this and then you need to do these moves L D prime L F2 L prime D and then another L prime and as you can see it finishes the cube so once you've finished all your PLLs or um, got through all of them you've now finished um, the 2x2 two two cube and in the next video it's just going to be some walkthrough solves if you're having some trouble in some things and so yeah that's my most of uh, my series on how to solve a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube with Ortega so thanks guys